Hello, my lovely Virgos. This is Davidi with Medium of the Light Tarot. I'm back with you for another love reading. This one's going to be for October 2020. And I was almost done with all of my October reads and realized that I didn't even use one Halloween deck. And oddly enough, I only have one. So <laughs> this is the one that I have and you guys have the pleasure of getting it. So I put forth the intention that this is going to be the highest and best reading for healing, holding, and loving for all who see this. And so it is. First card out is the devil. And I think this is a good card. Okay, you want money? Do you want some ice cream? And you're like, eh, not really, sir. Even the kitties are like, oops. <laughs> Don't take it. Don't do it. We're warning you. What? She's going to end up a large gal and he's going to end up <laughs> super rich with nothing else happening in his life. Anyway, wow. That was a weird judgment. <clears throat> okay. You guys can comment down below on, on my judgment situation. Hey, okay. never said I was perfect. All right. Focus. So Virgos. And if I said Gemini earlier, I apologize. I just got through doing the Gemini and it was a really fun read. So I'm like, hmm, let's get down to it, Virgos. Virgo energy. What do we have going on with Virgo energy and love? One of them flipped. Where did you go? I saw you. All right. The moon card. Virgos in love. Spirit's definitely calling me to this one here. You're really trying to figure out if you should just move along your way. Because what I'm getting is I feel like you're not really feeling like at the moment that this is going anywhere. You know, you feel like you've been tempted. You feel like the wheel of fate has gone against you because it's in the reverse. They're feeling like, you know, here was the four of wands here. They, they also feel like this has gone awry. I think either you were or you are holding back on your feelings and they can feel that. And so what I'm intuitively getting, it's not being indicated here yet on the cards, but for they're starting to wonder if you're with someone else. You know, like with this devil card here. Right, if I can grab it. You know, if something or someone is attempting you to go astray or to go away. And I don't feel like most of you have been, like you, that you guys are, for the majority of you, this, it wasn't a committed relationship for long. If it was at all. I feel like it was going really pretty good and all of a sudden I think you were seeing some red flags Virgos that you didn't like you know you have to pay attention to those red flags when you see them and good on you for noticing it because you know when we get in love all the red flags are like you know we just don't pay attention to them Especially with, you know, the feminine energy will tend to, you know, overlook them and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And feminine energy doesn't necessarily have to be in a feminine body. You know, we have feminine and masculine. We have yin and yang within all of us. They, they're not ready to let this go. You know, with this ace of wands here, they're like, 
And it's interesting because it's, it's very much like the traditional, to me, the magician card. It's like, how can I pull this out? How do, can I use all of my tools to get to fix this? You know, they, they might be meditating, asking the universe, asking their friends. You know, and with this two of swords here in reverse, it's like both of you are shooting in the dark right now. Like I said, you've seen some red flags where you're like, eh, I don't know if I want to go down this path with them. And they're like, oh my God, maybe I didn't make the best impression and maybe I shouldn't have said this or that. But I mean, if that's who they really are, that's who they really are. I mean, with the seven of swords here, or seven of cups, seven of swords, it's like they know you have a choice to make. They don't want you to make the choice that is not them. And it's interesting because what I'm hearing here is with this person behind here, behind the counter, they really think there's another person. That's their fear. Excuse me. Sorry about that. They see the impending doom. They still want to offer you their love. And see, here's part of the problem here is see how their cat, because each person in this deck has their own familiar. And that, see how that cat is like easily distracted, not paying attention to he could fall, she could fall. You know, they see that your person sees that there is impending doom, but I can see where you're coming from where you're like, you need to focus. They, their focus might be all over the place and you're like, Ugh, I, I don't know if I can build something with someone like that. Let's get some more clarification on this devil card. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, at the beginning, you had a lot of interest in this person. Interestingly, like it looks like you're, you're trying to manifest something too. You're just not for sure if it's this person. I think you're seeing if you can manifest something better. That's mean to say, but different, you know, like the Wheel of Fortune reverse. You're like, okay, how can I change this? How can I move this Wheel of Fortune back to the upright? And that's why you're like, this way or that way? Which way do I go? Yeah, you're you're coming at this at a, at a balanced way. You're really, you're pained. but you're staying in your power. The four of wands here. Give me more information. Yeah, this is how they see you. Someone who's got it all together, you know, they're focused. And you know, this person might even have like an attention deficit disorder. I feel like they're very, very ungrounded. They've got the, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse with this moon card. It's like they know. They know that you are a prize to be won. You know, and honestly, what I'm getting is they, this is not supposed to sound mean. And I hope it doesn't, but they need to get back on their meds. You know, like maybe they got too confident not having their medications and... It makes them ungrounded, unfocused, and you're like, how, how am I going to build a future with someone who can't focus? You know, and how, how can you have a conversation with someone who isn't focused? So with this Ace of Wands brings the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Like you're looking at it like, Ugh, I don't know how to do this. They're going, how do I do this? I want to manifest this, but I can't, you know, and with even like, See how they're trying to manifest it, but you know, being in the reverse, it's like they're dumping it over because they're not focusing correctly, and so the water's spilling, and yeah, if this person can 
You know, and I don't know if you want to be with someone who you have to make sure they take their meds. And I know that sounds horrible, but when you are trying to, and you know, don't shoot the messenger. This is what Spirit's telling me. Um, do you want to be with someone who you have to remind them to? It just depends on how much you love them. And like I said, this is like, you guys are like um, ankle deep in this relationship at the beginning of this relationship. It's not like you're thigh high. You know, you're waiting in the love of this person. It's not like that. So that's why you've got to make this decision. So the two of swords comes the six of swords in the reverse. Like things are not going in their favor. You know, maybe you might try to turn it into just a friend thing. You know, offering them a grounded friend situation. You know, continue on, but be friends and then see what happens from there. With this Knight of Wands in the reverse comes the Eight of Pentacles. So it's that, yeah, there's just not a whole lot of focus here. This is an interesting read because I've never had that come up before. You know, we're as clear as day as like someone has a tension, tension disorder. Well, and nowadays, who doesn't with phones? <laughs> the constant need of shifting gears, something else. And I think for you, this was kind of a surprise and it was kind of a surprise for them. I think maybe at the beginning they were taking their medications and they were very grounded and focused. And then, like I said, they might have gotten too confident and thought, oh, I don't need it anymore. I am somehow cured. You know, delusional thinking. It's okay. We all do it. I think it was a surprise to you. And what's happened? Because they're not quite understanding that they can't focus. And they're surprised that you're trying to get away. Because they, they see you as, you know, wedding material. They see you as partnership material. You know, and comment down below how this resonates with you because, you know, if they can get back on track, I don't know because all I'm, and it's interesting because I'm, all I'm seeing right now is this breaking point where you're like, nope, this way or that way, which way should I go? Because this isn't working for me, you know, because you're a young, attractive person and young can be young in spirit too. You know, someone who's sitting in their castle, someone who's got things taken care of. And they know that. But there is the potential of love here. I think you're just concerned. And I get it. I can totally feel the concern and how you blocked off your heart. Where you're like, mm, yeah, I don't know about all this. Because I know that there was the two of swords here somewhere. I cannot find it. But it is here somewhere. Um, or that I can just feel that you're blocked off with your heart. Cause you're like, nah, I ain't doing this, you know, cause you're ready for a commitment. You're ready for love. And I, you know, honestly, I think with the wedding and the love card, there is opportunity here. There is a chance for this. You're just going to have to decide if you want to stick it out. Let's pull some divine love messages and see what they're feeling about you. Says, I believe you. Maybe you said something to them where you're like, wow, this is, you know, you're, you're a little different than you were when we first met or whatever you might've said, they get it. Says, I am taking my time. We have all the time in the world. And you know, that might be a part of it too. This unfocused energy that you're feeling for some of you, maybe it's not that they have attention deficit disorder, but they have no clear direction on where they want to go. So it seems very unfocused. And that could be a part of it too. But I think for the vast majority of you, it's someone who has attention problems. But you are the song of their heart. Well, actually, let's pull this. What does the angels want to say here? Yeah, there's a potential for engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. That's far too many. All 
Let's see. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. One more card here for the Virgos. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So past life, soulmate, you know, possibly give it a little more time or go along your way, remain friends and see. Not that that's for me to decide, but um, I hope this was helpful, Virgos. Please leave me a comment down below how it did. And I will see you guys on the next Medium of the Light Tarot video. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.